They say Nigeria don't happen to Asari Dokobo. <laughs> As we they talk now, they say serve Nigeria and come back with shame. Asari Dokobo don't cry, come Asari, contact everybody. How the Nigeria army are planning to buy him? Oh. <laughs> don't be smart, you know. I want to play this video. No one waste time. May you hear with your own ear. No waiting, they go on because this man, <laughs> he said they want buy him oh, at all. They need them today, tomorrow. May they buy him. They don't even call them. Toro, toro. The same thing. We they call say IPOB na terror. Now the same thing that they can't call Asari Dokobo. He can't they use IPOB they compare himself. Just watch the video, my people. You don't read. Don't forget say see there for Braba this. Please watch this video from beginning to end before we jump to another update. When somebody comes up to come and talk, you take away from the statement of that rogue officer general at the defense headquarters. Or engaging bandits so that people can be alive and go to their farm and he called out terrorists. He singled me out and called me terrorists. Nigerians are listening and some are happy because what is happening in these places are not happening to them. These rogue officers must be investigated and eliminated from our military if Nigeria is to move forward. My crime is that I stand by the people and defend them and make them go back to their home, go back to their farm, that they are not kidnapped, I release them. I don't know which sector of the Nigerian army is commanding that made him a major general. But it's sad that if Nigeria has such major generals, that's the problem of Nigeria. Our own is to help. And I will continue to help. What crime did I commit that a helicopter will come and fly over my houses? The houses of my fathers, my grandfathers, where my siblings were. If I had not spoken out, maybe they would have dropped because we were not expecting them. And they would have done something to my siblings and myself and those who are with me. That an unmarked helicopter can fly up and down. Nigeria should ask questions. How many places are these unmarked helicopters gone to kill people? And then a rogue major general. I don't know where it became major general. We stand and use Nigerian platform to say a citizen of this country will be murdered. And it's acceptable in Nigeria. If he's not wearing that uniform, will he have the temerity or audacity to say he will murder me? You are pushing people. You are pushing people to hurt so that you will see. If that rogue Major General is not wearing that uniform, will he say what he has said? No. They are using the uniform of the Nigerian military to target Nigeria. A Nigerian who had done what you cannot do. Exactly. Fighting with a, 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 a battle is not shameful. That Nigeria can degenerate to the point that an individual will be invited to a battle. A Nigerian military of over 200,000 is inviting an ordinary man to come to battlefield with them. Why don't you reserve that strength for uh, Eastward, for Boko Haram, for bandits, for Kato Roslav, for ESF, and all other groups that are fighting Nigeria? Why would you take that against somebody who is fighting side by side with their own men? That also shows that the Nigerian Defense Headquarters has lost touch with reality. Lost touch totally with reality. Because the reality on the ground in Imo State will tell them that we are with them in all their joint operation. In Niger, we tell them that we are with them in all their or in all their joint operation. In Plateau. So where did they get this thing from? A terrorist calling another person a terrorist. 
the government should investigate that rogue officer. It's a rogue officer. You ought not to be in the Nigerian land. That I opened the way for Nigerians to travel between Abuja and Kaduna freely without being afraid of being kidnapped. And this rogue officer have the temerity, because he's wearing uniform, to come and talk rot about me. Like I said, did I invite, what did I do for the helicopter to come and fly over my roof? If you are inside my house, the whole house was shaking. Plantain trees were falling here. What did I do? There's a military formation in this place. Have I ever had co uh, uh, conflict or anything with the military formation here? <coughs> In my own community, they are there. He calls me a terrorist. He will, me. he will take me out. My people, <laughs> Shebo na do siya. <laughs> na asari do kubo, na inde ya bi mat la di so ilake ya wu ya wu. <laughs> na the same person, we say bring igbo, me de by them, bring in na de kare, me de by them, bring. Nah, you don't reach your own turn. You see this one we start, you know go soon end though, just the watch him. <laughs> As it be like this now, you don't read for asari do kubo head though. Okay, my people, let us quickly jump inside Ali Igbo, mo go find that type of thing they happen. They say one security man, don't come out. Side. Come beg in Dobodo. Say may everybody help them all. Say so that they go fee. Uh, buy all the whole Biafra Liberation Army and all ESN where they for the land though. Just watch the video as he take talk about. <laughs> Ibrahimade <laughs> my people seven <laughs> I don't hear up uh, the question is that Funani are still there inside, still there inside our bush. Oh, they buy people. Why the security people no go find the Funani? That that the one where they pay me pass. Yes, if anybody do something we no good, go for the person. But why are you people? You go see the governor. You go come outside ESN. You go come outside the Afrika Liberation Army. You go come outside Nandekar. Why are you people not going after Funanis that is all over our land, kidnapping and doing all kind of things? Why are you people not going um, um, to capture them, rather to fight your own brothers? However, now so if you now say my bring a conscious, now beg me you share them and drop your own opinion for inside conversation.